God can cause a supernatural turnaround of your identity. First Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. A very interesting record of a man named Jabez. Just two verses here that describe uh, something about his life. When he was born, his mother named him Jabez, meaning uh, uh, someone who would cause pain. He said, because I've born him in pain, Jabez, somebody causing pain. Now that's not a good name to have. As, I mean, somebody asked you, you know, what's your name? Say, I'm somebody who causes pain. That's, that's not a nice name to have. Jabez could not determine the name his mother gave him. But there's something interesting Jabez did. When he grew up, he, he came to some point in his life, when he looked to God and he said, God, I want you to bless me. I want you to expand my influence, enlarge my territory. I want your hand to be on my life. I want you to preserve me from all evil. And God, I want you to make sure I don't cause pain. And the Bible says, God granted him his request. What an interesting prayer that he would pray against all the things that, that were kind of put upon him because of the name his mother gave him and whatever situation uh, he may have had to grow up with, that he dared to believe God for a turnaround in his whole identity. Uh, his mom said, this is the kind of person you're going to be. He refused to accept that and he said, no, I'm going to be something different. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be prosperous. I'm going to be somebody with great influence. And I'm going to be somebody who's going to be a blessing to people. I'm not going to be somebody who's going to cause pain. He believed God for a turn around in his identity and who he is and what he would do and what, what he would be. And God granted him his request. God can do the same thing for you and me today. It doesn't matter what you and I have grown up with, uh, what uh, environmental factors that shaped your life and mine, uh, you know, uh, the good things we had and, not, and the uh, disadvantages that we had to work through, uh, the names that people gave us and, you know, what people think about us today. None of those things count. If you and I will believe God for the turnaround in all of, in, in those areas of our life, lives and believe God will give us a new identity. People will look at us and say, that person, something has changed in their life. They are not what they used to be. They are something different. They are walking under the good hand of God on their lives. God has blessed them. God has prospered them. They are a blessing. Let's believe God for such a turnaround in our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just pray for those listening. Where, Lord, if there be any who, like Jabez, God, had to just be birthed and raised up in a disadvantageous uh, things. Lord, today, let there be a turnaround in their identity, in who they are, what they're becoming, and what they will be, and how they will be to people around them. May they be blessed to be a blessing. Turn around their identity, change who they are, so that, Lord, they will know that you have done this for them that people see and call them the blessed of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.